Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today we're here with another Monday motivation, but actually... We're going to switch things up just a little bit. Just like I've said before, your life informs your business. My dad always says that your life informs your business. Your life informs your business. So today, my friend, we're doing a Monday, a Money Monday. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to roll it out. And it's going to be a series as we prepare to go into the new year. I feel that, one, finances are extremely important, and two, um, this is where I am because, like I said, your life informs your business. So today, I'm going to give you seven just tips, and then we're going to finish this part out next Monday with about seven more tips. But if you're not following us, I would encourage you to be sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel. Go to Jonathan J. Speaks. And honestly, you can just type in Jonathan J. Speaks on any platform, and it'll pop up on Instagram. It'll pop up on uh, Twitter. It'll pop up on YouTube, all of those places. And if you want to follow the Speak Your Success podcast, type in SYS Podcast 1, and that'll pop up LinkedIn, Facebook, Insta, um, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, that's that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Uh, but, But without further ado, Um, I I wanted to break this down today and take a little bit of time talking about money, because as I've heard, as I've been saying recently, that I'm preparing to get married in December and my fiance and I uh, had a budget conversation just the other day. And we started talking about finances, started talking about money, what that's going to look like for us, what the transitions are going to be. And then as we began to talk about these things, then we began to realize that we're merging our lives and we're not just talking about finances, but it's it's, the two are becoming one. She has a last name. I have a last name, but we're both about to share the last name in about 40 days to be exact. So I felt it'd be beneficial for me to walk with you through just something that I was focusing on. And hopefully that it helps you in some way, shape or form. Hopefully you take something away Uh, because I know we've did a money series before and from this money series, I hope that you get something new. So, so the first point is budget to zero before your month begins. And the reason we budget to zero before the month begins is plain and simply because think about when you go to the grocery store hungry. You end up buying a lot more than you initially set out to get. You initially buy a lot more things that you want instead of need. So when you budget to zero before the month begins, you're already setting your mind and positioning yourself to be successful with your numbers because you have to know your numbers. And we're going to talk about that next week. So budget to zero before the month begins. That means if you know you're getting 1500, start a budget off on Excel spreadsheet and work your way down to where that 1500 becomes zero at the end of the month. And that doesn't mean all the money is quote unquote spent. It's all accounted for, though. So you're saying, okay, I'm going to put this in my savings. I'm going to put this on my phone bill. And that way, you know exactly what you're looking at at the beginning of the month. So you already know what the end of the month will look like. Second, do the budget together. That's right. If you're dating, if you're in a relationship, committed relationship, married, you know, those type things. Sit down and do your finances together because understanding that you want to see what the relationship is like with money. Some people may be in a position to where they grew up and they are very financially literate. And a lot are financially illiterate. And just based on that, just think about student loans. Think about credit card bills. Think about car notes rent, all these things. Some people might have really high car notes. Some people might have really high rent. 
But if you never sit down and talk about these things, you won't be able to analyze and assess where you're looking at just financially. So do your budget together. And you, if you're a couple, you do it together. Or if you're single, then you can find a friend that you can begin to do this with this way. Now you'll have some, some level of accountability and you'll have someone checking in on you, uh, seeing where your money's going, seeing what those decisions are looking like. So do the budget together. Number three, every month, every month is different. So November, December, you know, these are the end of the year months. And with it being the end of the year month, a lot of times, you know, you got the Christmas coming up. You got Thanksgiving coming up. You got a lot of travel coming up potentially. So you just want to be able to identify, well, I might need to put some money to the side. I might need to hold a little bit of money back so I can pay such and such on my taxes. And understand that every month is different. That lets you know that you need to have a little bit of flexibility in the budget. You might need to be able to switch some numbers around. Your heat might be higher this month because it's a little chilly versus the AC could be higher towards the summertime. So every month is different. Number four, start with the most important categories first. My ties are first, then rent, my cell phone bill. Was my car? No, but we got the car paid off, praise God. So you want to take into account what are the most important categories. You don't want to be riding around in your car, but yet you don't have heat at the house. One more time for my people in the back. You don't want to be riding around in a nice car, but you don't have heat. You don't have running water. Like these are things you want to consider as you begin to set out your budget and make that plan. And I'm going to provide you all with a link to where you can access uh, a website called Every Dollar because this reference was from Dave Ramsey, and um, I know he's the budgeting guru. So I'm going to put that uh, resource link down in the show notes so you can download uh, and go on to that platform because it, it allows you to place every dollar in its place and every dollar in its position. So start off with the most important categories first. That's number four. Number five, pay off your debt. I'm reading a book, and the gentleman said the other day, paying off debt is just as important as generating income. And when I heard him say that, that really that really struck me because I've never viewed it that way. I've always viewed, well, making income is making income, and that's the best way to go. However, the more I began to listen to this gentleman, the more I began to realize, wow, if that truly is the case, if that truly is the case, then maybe I should take my debt a little bit more serious. So understanding that, now the focus for me has been, okay, paying off my smallest debts first. Dave Ramsey talks about the debt snowball. But paying off the smallest debt first, because then you begin to build up that momentum. You begin to get a little bit excited because you see yourself psychologically gaining traction in your journey to be debt free. Smallest debt first and then work your way up. But one thing we need to do is be able to see you need to be able to see where this money is going. You need to be able to see this in a spreadsheet. And this is what I didn't do for the longest I did not do this for long. I was like, no, I don't want to put that in the spreadsheet for what? I know how much I owe. I know when I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay it when I'm going to pay it. And then I began to continue to charge my card. But now my credit cards are cut up. R.I.P. They're, 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 they're cut up. So now we're working on getting those taken care of. And uh, number six, man, don't don't be scared. Don't be scared to trim the budget. These are those things that you want to say you need, but you know you don't really need, like going to Starbucks every single day. If that's what you want to do, then you can, but, bro, you don't need to go to Starbucks every day. Anyway, that that's your life. I'm not going to tell you. That's your life, okay? But going out to eat as much, you can say, okay, well, let me scale back. Let me pack my lunch today. Okay, let me cook. Let me do meal prep for the week. Let me do those things. And then when you begin to take more time and assess how much money you're spending on eating out, you begin to realize that if you cooked on like Sunday and did like the meal prep situation, you could save a lot of money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And last but not least, 
Number seven, make a schedule and stick to it. Make a schedule for your spending. Make a schedule for your budgeting. If you know you have a budget meeting every Sunday, stay true to that. Even if you don't want to do it, stay true to that. Because when you begin to show up and then when you begin to focus on your finances and when you begin to see them increase and when you begin to see that debt decrease, now you're in a place of a heightened sense of awareness because you can tell that you're legitimately growing in this area and it gets exciting. But if you never put attention and apply pressure to it, you cannot, you cannot, cannot, cannot expect to grow and pay down this debt. Friends, if you would like to get your money tight and get your money right, I would encourage you to just click that link down at the bottom of the show notes. I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a sponsor or anything like that. I just understand now the importance of financial literacy. And I just really got it. And I'm not even joking. So, I mean, my parents growing up, they told me, John, save, John, save, John, save. But I never saved. I never tried to invest. So now we're trying to correct those things this go round. So, my friends, I would encourage you to take your money serious. Take your debt serious. Take your bills serious so that as you begin to put those things in place, then you'll give yourself some more margin and then be able to enjoy life the way that God intended, debt free. And you're the borrower. You're not the borrower. You're the lender. So now you can give people money to hold on to and to utilize, and you're not worried about it because you know that your bills are paid. You know, you're taken care of. Amen. Praise God. So, friends, like I said, we got the link down there at the bottom. And then also, uh, if you'd like to find out more information on me, you can go to JonathanJonesSpeaks.com. There on the website, we have, well, we have the link for my free book. Uh, we have a link to where if you're interested in applying to being coached by me, then you can also go on the website and just at the top, it says coaching. So without further ado, my friends, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way?